Today we're going to talk about Hall Pike's Integrity Test Services. When a filter is sent in for testing, or if we are testing on site, we must first establish what type of test is required by the customer, and the test parameters stated by the filter manufacturer. Determining if a sterilising grade filter is integral can be done via non-destructive integrity testing. The test parameters for sterilising grade membrane filters are based on correlating the test parameters with the LRV of the filter against a 10 to the 7 CFU per centimetre squared challenge, Breven de Monis Diminutua. The filter cartridges are tested by industry standard procedures as recommended in the PDA Technical Report 26. The test parameters are dependent on the surface tension of the wetting fluid to be used. Hall Pike can carry out and advise on the following integrity test procedures bubble point, water intrusion test, forward flow diffusion. Test parameters. The test parameters that are required can vary depending on the type of test. The parameters that are required are the pressure test, the wetting liquid, whether it's IPA or IPM water, the bubble point, the max diffusive flow, but all this information can be got from the manufacturer's validation guide. Upstream volume. In the case of a WIT or diffusive flow test, we will also need to establish the upstream volume, but this is something that we have to do ourselves. There are two options for doing this. Where the upstream volume is small, we use the test equipment to measure the upstream volume. But when on site, we must establish the upstream volume using a method of filling the system and measuring the difference between the top of the filter and the top of the sanitary vent. This is done using a pressure vessel, laboratory scale and a calibrated pressure sensor. Full details can be found on our website on the Hall Pike SOP 32. Once we have established all this information, we are then in a position to put the data into the tester and run a test. We are now going to do a water intrusion test for a 0.25 inch Code 7 PTFE membrane. Firstly, I wet the O-rings and insert the cartridge into the housing. Attach my filter ball. Making sure that the hosing is well sealed. I attach my filling valve to the upstream side and also my pressure sensor. I am now ready to run the test. All of the specific test parameters required for this filter have already been uploaded into the IT01 integrity tester. All I need to do now is stick in my program. It's now just a matter of starting the test. The test takes 20 minutes and at the end the result is printed stating whether the filter has passed or not.